Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is from the chapter Shear Force and Bending Moment in Beams for the subject Strength of Material. This problem was asked in earlier examination for 4 marks. The problem is of the type like simply supported beam. So as you can see there are loadings okay, that is 500 Newton, 1000 Newton and a UDL that is 200 Newton per meter which is acting on the span of 4 meter. If we calculate the total load that is 200 into 4 that is 800 it will be acting at the center of this 4 meter. So now let us calculate RA and RB that is the reaction force. All the loadings are downward so the reaction force will be upward. Okay. When we calculate if the answer RA will be positive which will be obviously a positive because all the other loads are downward then we will say that our assumption or what is given okay, the direction is correct. So let us calculate RA and RB. So to calculate that we will require two equations because two unknown will require two equations. So let us start here summation of M that is the moment at A is equal to 0. We will take that. Okay. So all the moments we will take the reference from A. So the sign convention which we will follow is clockwise is positive and anticlockwise is negative. So it is 500 into 2 which is clockwise that's why positive 1000 into 4 that is clockwise that's why positive 200 into 4 that is the total load and it is also clockwise and since it is UDL the load will be acting at the center of this 4 meter so 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is 6 so it will be 6 and RB as such is upwards so it will give a clock anti-clockwise movement so rb into 8 2 plus 2 plus 4 that is 8 equal to 0 so here we can calculate rb that is 1 2 2 5 newton and since it is positive so the direction which we have taken or which is given is correct so we would require another equation because we want to calculate the value of ra so here we will take summation of fy that is the force in y direction as equal to 0 and the sign convention which will follow here is upwards is positive and downward is negative so as such we can see ra is upward that's why it will be positive and 500 is downward that's why it is negative 1000 is downwards that's why negative then this 200 into 4 is also downwards okay that's why negative then rb is upwards that's why positive so upward we have taken as positive downward we have taken as negative and we have to equate it to zero the resultant force will be equal to zero so here as such if we put the value of rb then r a we will get 1075 newton and this is positive so our direction which is given or we have taken is correct so we have calculated now the value of ra and rb now with that now we have to move on to make the sfd and bmd diagram okay to make sfd and bmd diagram we have to do some calculation let us see how we do that now we have calculated the value of ra and rb now we have to draw sfd and bmd diagram so to do that we need to some do some calculation let us start so as such you can see there are four points a c d and b as such there are two sides like left hand side and right hand side okay for all the points so when we start from left there is no load on the left hand side but once we cross the point A, we have a load which is RA and RA we have calculated as 1075. So here it was 0 and here once we cross, so 0 got added okay, with 1075. So on the right hand side, the resultant load is 1075. So as such, if we go from A to C, there is no other load which is acting so it will remain 1075 on the left hand side of C 
but once we cross the point C so there is a load which is minus 500 because it is acting downward so on the right hand side this is 1075 and it will minus 500 so on the right hand side it will be 575 Newton because 1075 was acting but because of this 500 we have to reduce from 1075 so we got 575 so from C to D there is no other load so till the left side of D we will have this 575 but once we cross D there is a load that is 1000 which is acting downwards so we have to reduce okay from this 575 so it will be minus 4 to 5 okay 575 minus 1000 and now as such here you can see it is UDL so the loading is downward and it is increasing okay because here it will be only because of this particular section here it will be because of this two particular section like it will increase once we reach completely till the point B the load will keep on increasing downward so on the left hand side of B we will have minus 425 in addition to that because of this UDL it will be 200 into 4 okay so minus 800 that is downward so minus 425 and minus 200 into 4 so finally it will be 1 2 2 5 minus 1 2 2 5 but once we cross this RB so RB we have a 1 2 2 5 which is acting upwards which is a positive one so if we add both minus 1 2 2 5 and plus 1 2 2 5 the resultant will be 0 so on the right hand side of RB we will have 0 so as such we have got now all the values now let us try to plot that so we will make here our SFD okay so here we will have our 1075 because it will start from 0 and once we are on the right hand side of this side because we started from 0 as you can see over here on the left hand side but once we cross this side we have to go to 1075 so it will be 1075 Newton okay up to point C okay on the left hand side and then once we go on the right hand side it will be 575 so as you can see over here now on the right hand side we have 575 this will be 575 Newton okay now as you can see here it will be 575 till the left side of D once we go to the right side of the D it will be minus 425 so it will be minus 425 so we can write over here minus 425 which is this particular value and then it will be minus 1225 minus so it will be minus 1225 so minus 1225 Newton so here we can join this okay so and then once we are reaching the right side we have the value as 0 so it will again go to 0 okay so as such we have made the SFD because of the calculation which we have done for the loading now you can see this is 0 on the left side right side we have 1075 and it will continue up to C 1075 once we are on the right hand side of C we have 575 then it will go up to D and then once it cross D it will have the value minus 425 and then once it goes further up to B it will be minus 
1, 2, 2, 5 Newton and once it crosses B, it will again go back to the value 0 because on the right hand side it is 0. So here as such, in some places what they do in some books, they show here as negative value, negative value and some places or some books, they show it positive but in the box, they make a plus sign and here they make minus sign and here they keep as positive. So, as such, this is the SFD diagram, okay, SFD, that is shear force diagram and now we will be taking up the BMD, okay. So, that also, there is some calculations involved, so we will do that and then we will plot the BMD. So, as such, here, if we take the left hand side, here also there are four points okay that is our a c d and b so if we take the movement at a so it will be zero movement at a will be equal to zero okay when we take movement at C, so we have to see like this, see, this is A because once we are at A, there is no forces on the left hand side of A, that's why we are having 0, when we reach C, then we have to see what are the load, so we have RA and that is RA into 2, so RA into 2 and RA value was 1075 so here we have 1075 into 2 and here as such what we will be doing the clockwise will take as positive okay so this is 1075 into 2 once we come at D we have two loads 1075 which is clockwise and 500 into 2 which is anti-clockwise okay so we have 1075 into if when we reach D so it will be 1075 which is acting upwards and making the clockwise movement and the distance of A from D is 4 meter so we have to multiply by 4 and as such 500 is giving a anti-clockwise movement and it is at a distance that point C is at a distance of 2 meter so this is minus 500 into 2 okay so here we have 2 here once we calculate we will have 2150 Newton meter and here we have 3300 Newton meter okay so now we will go to B at B as such if we see we have RA which is acting clockwise okay and it is at a distance of 8 meter so ra that is 1075 into 8 and then we have anti clockwise that is minus 500 into 6 then i have minus 1000 into 4 minus 1000 into 4 then this is 200 into 4 that is the load 200 into 4 and it is acting at the center of 4 meter so it will be into 2 so once I calculate this the value will be 0 so I started with 0 and then we reached to 2150 and at D it was 3300 Newton meter and at B again it became 0 so now we have to plot this we will go to the okay, BMD B M D. So as such this value we have to plot. So we started with 0 and then 2150. So this will be 2150 Newton meter. So we have to join this. Okay. Because this is continuous because here once you have a load and the effect will be seen from A to C okay that's why 
it is shown uh, as a continuous line then at d it will be 3300 so it will increase to 3300 newton meter and as such at b we have calculated that it will become zero so here at b again it will become zero okay so this is the bmd where we have okay plotted all the values which we got after this calculation so now this is the bmd okay so hope you like the video where we have made the sfd and bmd so here the sign convention which we have used is for calculating ra and rb what we did is when we are taking movement we took clockwise as positive and regarding forces the upward forces we took as positive and while calculating okay the forces regard for the shear force diagrams what we have done taken the values which is going upward as positive and which is coming downwards as negative to calculate the values and for bending moment okay the same thing which we took for the reaction that when we are having clockwise it will be positive and when it will be anti clockwise then it will be negative so we calculated all the bending moment and we have plotted it so hope you like the video we will again meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye